The city of West Hollywood is known for passing legislation in the support of animal rights. It was the first city to ban cat declawing, as well as the sale of dogs and cats in pet stores. West Hollywood is now proposing another benchmark animal rights measure, and Andrea Anderson is in the studio with more. Andrea? Yes, Brendan, what the city of West Hollywood is attempting to do is ban the sale of fur apparel from all stores within city limits. Fur has long been an icon in fashion, a symbol of luxury and style. The use of fur in the fashion industry has also become an issue of controversy, often targeted by animal rights activists. The West Hollywood City Council has joined the fight of those activists and has tentatively banned the sale of fur apparel within the city. It's really about, um, again, about our city taking a stand about whether we want to sell those products and uh, promote uh, that, that sort of uh, commercial activity. The ban, backed by the Fur Free West Hollywood campaign, will prohibit the sale of all fur apparel while excluding fur furniture and home decor. President of the Chamber of Commerce, Genevieve Morrill, says this ban will have a damaging effect on businesses. The city has done nothing to research or to provide any information, get in any, gather any information from the business community. This would be an undue hardship on stores and it's unfair and unconstitutional to a business uh, that's moved into this city that has been, you know, came with the understanding and good faith that they would be able to sell the products that they uh, sell in fashion. Studies show that 46% of apparel retailers in West Hollywood sell fur, and 7% said they would move out of the city if the proposed fur ban is passed. Proponents of the ban say they encountered little resistance from retailers. I say almost, I think just about every store I went into voluntarily removed the fur within days. Yet, I'm hearing from the Chamber of Commerce that they've had a lot of resistance from stores. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that wasn't my experience when I went into stores, and these included high-end retailers. There's no question that the city of West Hollywood holds a reputation as a fashion frontrunner, and the effects of this ban could be damaging to the city's image. The city will, will still be known for many things, for, for dining, for entertainment, but it will lose its image as a fashion destination. The fact is that today, uh, more than 400 well-known international designers use fur in their collections. It has almost become a point of branding. The fur ban is not yet officially in place, and the city council will make the final vote during its next meeting. Now, if the proposed ban is passed, retailers will then have 30 days to remove all fur from their shelves before fines are imposed by the city. Back to you.